Will this 1084S monitor power up? Will it work? Will it turn on? Will it have video? Will anything work at all? That's the question here. This uh, 1084S monitor got uh, accidentally left in a uh, uh, storage shed um, that was um, uh, not temperature controlled, uh, not humidity controlled, um, pretty much open to the atmosphere, but um, not uh, uh, not rained on. It was out. It, the roof was good. So, uh, but it is covered in dirt and debris and probably mice droppings and all kinds of things. Um, and uh, it sat there in that shed for 20 years, give or take. Uh, probably hadn't been turned on in five years prior to that because uh, it was used for a prop to uh, display this anti-theft device um, at a trade show booth years and years ago. And um, then it sat in my garage here my house which is much more sealed but still for probably another two or three years and I just uh, I hung on to it but I didn't have a use for it and then I happened to come across this Amiga 500 and finally had a use for this monitor so I'll give you a little tour of this monitor for what I know of it so this monitor was originally I just take the camera off the stand this monitor was originally uh, used in a high school library and this sticker here says what does it say it says this computer automatically saves on hard drive to save on floppy disk make sure you save uh, you something save as a colon <laughs> so this monitor was actually used uh, as a CJ monitor on a PC in its day when it was used. I don't think it was ever used on an Amiga. Uh, this melted spot here, I believe, if I remember correctly, sometime in the late 90s when this was at a trade show booth, the, la the light, the halogen light had fallen down off of the uh, trade show display for a bit and the bulb was sitting pretty much touching this. And those halogen bulbs get, you know, obviously hot enough to melt plastic, so that's where that damage came from. Um, this security plate here was um, uh, the first one I ever used and actually maybe for another video launched me into a 20 plus year, 25 year career of uh, making and selling and distributing security products, anti-theft products for computers and that this one's all mangled because when I installed it in the high school library in around 19... 90, uh, 89, 90, somewhere around there, the library was broken into and thieves tried to steal this monitor and uh, there was an aircraft cable through that hole there and that uh, twisted part used to sit flat over where you see the uh, exposed adhesive and it did its job, it's kind of like a leverage thing when you, when you stick something in there and twist and try and pull, it's kind of like trying to pull a suction cup straight out without lifting the edges but imagine if the edges were glued down. Well, that's sort of how this guy works. So, but I am going to try and take that off because I don't want it on there anymore for the purpose of using with this A500. So I'm going to, before I plug it in, I'm going to crack this guy open and just take a little tour of the inside to make sure that I don't see any like large amounts of corrosion or, or, or urine from a mouse or something like that. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, got got her open. All things considering, doesn't look that bad. And a little warning, as you should know if you're watching this video anyway, um, monitors can hold a charge that will kill you. Um, this one's been unplugged for a long time, so uh, I'm not too concerned about it, but I still won't touch anything electronic in a monitor personally. Um, I know there's a technique for lifting up the little uh, suction cup plunger and discharging the charge that's in there, but I don't want to get involved in that right now. I just wanted to open up to make sure there wasn't a pile of corrosion and and dripping capacitors and anything. You know, looks pretty good here in, in inspection, other than it's really dusty. Um, that's a combination of sitting in a school for years and sitting in a storage shed for 20 years. Um, here's the inside of the 
<coughs> excuse me, the inside of the case also quite dirty. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes and uh, just blow this out without actually touching anything. Put it back together. Okay, so I'm outside because there's going to be a lot of dust. And I'm going to use my trusty uh, DataVac electric duster. This is basically like a can of air in a can, but it's got a like a vacuum motor in it. So it's like an endless air in a can. Um, I'll try and put a link in the description later when I upload the video. Here we go. definitely a little better and uh, <laughs> the dust in the monitor cover blew back all over me so I'm covered in dust so I'm gonna clean myself up and be right back okay there we go all cleaned up and I'd say it cleaned up pretty nice from the front. Uh, I do have the front panel. The tabs on it are a little broken. I put it aside. Um, that's for another project. I'm going to try and glue some things back together. Uh, hopefully it'll stay in place. I know you can, 3D, you can 3D print them now, but you know, try and keep it original. And um, okay, let's go. Let's uh, try and uh, power it on. Oh yeah, while I was off camera, by the way, I just uh, took a look. This speaker cover was smashed in during handling at one point. I kind of bent most of the fingers back into place and I have the missing piece here which I'm going to try and glue in a little later. Uh, the speaker is pretty damaged. There's a couple of holes in it but you know I'm not too concerned of super high quality sound out of these original speakers anyway. If I'm going to use this Semica 500 I'll probably plug in a Bose or some kind of you know much better speaker. Uh, get better sound. Okay so a moment of truth. I happen to have an original uh, A500 uh, Amiga 1084S monitor cable. So let's plug that in. Which one does it go in? Do I remember? <laughs> I think it goes in here. Yep, and that went in. Okay, let's face the monitor out. Not sure where the power switch is. That is the off position. I'm going to get the power cord and uh, move my little tripod over a little bit. Okay. We are plugged in, um, and I'm going to power on the Amiga. I know the Amiga is working. I tested it with an A520 video adapter with composite out in this ViewSonic multi-input monitor. A moment of truth. 25 years, I would say. It's a minimum of 25 years since this was powered on. That sounded good. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Perfect. We're getting some effects from the camera, uh, but in person, those aren't there. The image is crystal clear. Um, I happen to have a 
copy of the great Guiana Sisters. Let me just pop that in there, just so we can see something with some color. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I think you got to hit the mouse button, right? Yeah. Um, let me connect some sound. Have some composite audio cables here. Which are plugged into this ViewSonic. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> you know, while I'm getting the cables out, I was in a Zoom call one of the Commodore Club, I believe it was Teapot, Toronto Pet User Group, and there was an engineer from, a uh, former engineer from Commodore on the call, and he was saying that they were told to make um, uh, Commodore equipment last three years. That was their goal from an engineering standpoint, was to make them last three years. Well, I think, I think they uh, achieved that goal. <laughs> right. Let's see if we have sound. Right, audio, audio, which is audio, audio left, audio right, I think I've got that correct, I don't know if that screen has sound, Ooh. oh yeah, <laughs> There we have it. Put that down a little bit. Uh, considering the speaker is toast and has holes in it, it's producing pretty pretty decent stereo sound. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this video or enjoyed it at least. I gotta say it's pretty cool to turn on something. A piece of technology, 25, 30 years old. Still works perfectly. I'm gonna set this Amiga up in a more usable uh, desk soon. And uh, yeah, any uh, of course, any questions, comments, please post them below. And uh, it's always good to give a like or a subscribe if you like my videos. And uh, that's it for now. See you in the next one.